Round one, race two of the Toyota Racing Series 2018 saw a top four reverse grid, which allowed Novelak the pole position, but he didn't take advantage of it. He bogged off the line, allowing Armstrong through into the lead. And the Christchurch man racing at home never looked back. Richard Bashaw got a good start. And Brendan Leach went up the inside to try and gain some places and did so. Out front, Armstrong pulling away from James Paul of Great Britain with Robert Schwartzman not far behind, the Russian from M2 competition who had pole position for the third race. But Armstrong by this time was pulling away out front. Brendan Leach found himself bouncing over the curves at Icom only to break his suspension. Another disaster for the Invercargill man. Two races in a row with not the finish he needed. No such problems for 17-year-old Marcus Armstrong of Christchurch. Repeating his win from the year before, Armstrong coming across the line by over two seconds ahead of Richard Vashore and fellow teammate Robert Schwartzman. A brilliant win for the Christchurch man. Puts him in the lead of the championship. Heading off to Europe and Formula FIA Formula 3 after this. What a great way to start his year. Well, Marcus Armstrong, that is what you wanted. The bright sunshine of Christchurch and a win. Can't get better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it seems like a long race when you're at the front. Um, but really, I just conserved the tyres, didn't do anything too dramatic. Just slowly built my gap. Um, at the beginning, the speed was quite good. And at the end, we just, we just kept the lead and did what we needed to do. The race was won and lost at the start in many ways. You knew that Novelak hadn't had many starts. So were you looking to try and get that jump on him? Not particularly. I, I mean, obviously, I wanted to overtake him at the start, um, but because of an, an, his inexperience, it wasn't. You know, I, I wasn't expecting it. But luckily, I had a good start, so uh, I did my job, and uh, yeah, he helped me out. Same again for race three. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Robert, another good, clean race in the sunshine this time. Well, uh, yeah, it was not too bad, but especially the start. Now, finally, I made it, managed to get a really good start. But because of really high temperature, and I don't know for what reason we were standing in the grid so long, uh, my water temperature was a bit too high, so my car went in the safety system. So it didn't go from the beginning. Uh, I lost a lot of positions because the start was so good, I was P2 already there. And I actually could have challenged for P1, but it didn't actually go. So in turn one, I was coming out P4 fighting with uh, also like with, with P3 with Richard and James and then uh, yeah so then I was catching them both I was faster than them but yeah, I don't know what happened to James he had the same issue with, with the engine or something he just dropped back and uh, yeah so then and there was not, not really much to do because I couldn't actually come closer to Richard because of the temperature it was on the limit and yeah so then I just finished P3 and that's it. Uh, turn 3 was causing a lot of problems Several people getting suspension problems coming through there. Were you struggling to get out of there? It's quite bumpy. It's not a problem of the bumps. It's just because somebody lost oil in the previous uh, race and uh, there was just a lot of dust. So it was really, really slippery and a lot of maybe drivers made some mistakes on the braking. But for me, it was, was safe there. I managed to get out of there safe and it was all fun. Well done again. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Richard, congratulations. Uh, another podium, just what you wanted uh, and uh, obviously much better conditions today. Yeah, really. Um, the weather is really nice. Um, yeah, I think the start was pretty okay, but got into safe mode somehow. I think more people had this, so it's no excuse, but um, I lost one place. Um, anyway, I think the pace at the end was really good. Um, I didn't push maximum, but still the tires are looking pretty okay. So I think we improved the car compared to yesterday, and let's see how the third race goes. In terms of the third race, what will, if anything, adjust? Probably the conditions are going to be the same. Do you think there's anything you can change to make it better? Well, you always can improve, but I mean, we have to check on data. I cannot say right now, but starting from P3, it's looking pretty okay. I think points are quite even, and I'm not really focused on that, to be honest. I just want to have a good race, be consistent, and finish. How important is it for you to leave Christchurch with the Championship League? Not important at all. Fair enough. Thank you.